Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's nice to have something to laugh about in the crisis. Uh, last Friday, as I observed uh, the summit in Friday, in the traditional role of the European Parliament, the one we shall have in the future as well, I got the impression that as the crisis developed, uh, the summit actually had nothing to do with it. Uh, Greece uh, is still unsolved after years, and in the meanwhile a number of old European countries are threatened with uh, state bankruptcy, and according to the OECD, the European Union is on the brink of recession or already on its way into it. And then you look at the summit, and what you have to say is that it's a, a, a summit of denial. And it's not just David Cameron who got uh, pushed into the corner. Yeah, and I thought that was a good thing, like everybody else. Because this British selfish uh, strategy protecting the city, which Martin Schulz uh, uh, rightly described as typical of the whole evil that we're fighting, uh, that is a strategy uh, that we cannot tolerate any longer. But even uh, when Cameron was standing in the corner where he had uh, put himself, uh, then the question is, what happens next? And then you get further denial. A denial of reality, if you ask me, and at the centre of that is an irresponsible and obstinate view of the crisis taken by Angela Merkel. She claims that state indebtedness is the sole central problem that brought us this crisis. Consequently, her sole answer is uh, the austerity policy that's supposed to get us out of the crisis. Uh, but that's not enough, because in this situation uh, we find ourselves precisely looking at the result of this one-sided German austerity mentality imposed on everybody else. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we were expecting was a signal of bearable European solidarity against uh, what the Council of Economic Advisers in Germany have called for, and nobody uh, said that. Bank, the bank license for the EFSF wasn't even mentioned, and that's not acceptable. The uh, polls said this again and again in their presidency, because we have to be in a position to have central Euro centrally issued European bonds guaranteed and a banking license for the EFSF would be the simplest and clearest way of achieving that but that's been denied equally denied are measures against the recession we keep hearing the old song President Barroso about sustainable development in the European Union and I've been hearing that ever since we used to talk about the Lisbon strategy but uh, when are we finally going to see it? Not at this summit, at any rate. Then I observed a defeat uh, for Mrs. Merkel on a involvement of creditors. Uh, um, what I uh, see is still open, if there's not to be creditor involvement, is the whole question of justice, fairness. It cannot be right that the burden of the crisis is borne publicly, generally, while the people who before the crisis and during uh, the crisis have made money out of our debts, uh, uh, the people uh, whose capital is actually our debt uh, get away scot-free. Yeah. Uh, their capital has to be somehow involved, uh, brought in, even if there isn't any creditor participation. Now, I think Ladies and gentlemen, the summit fell short. It was a summit denying reality and denying democracy. We have no answers to the serious challenges of the crisis, uh, and we have a statement against European democracy, and that is unacceptable. Uh, 
we have this kind of patchwork quilt that's supposed to protect us uh, uh, from the crisis, uh, this uh, intergovernmental stability pact which is uh, in parallel to the European treaties, whatever that on earth that's supposed to mean. I'm happy that the chairman of political parties in this party yesterday decided to table a resolution in January which will set out our answers uh, uh, that could be given to the crisis now without treaty change and I would add that the economic and solidarity union which we really want in our group uh, is also is something that is going to need uh, treaty change but all the things uh, that we really need now as an answer to the crisis those are things that can be achieved without treaty change thank you